Hello there, my friends, and welcome to a new model. Now, what new model is this? Well, I will try to tell you without getting too aggressive. It's Primaris Aggressors. Oh, oh, oh yes. Move that like that. There we go. Now, it's like when you don't want to commit as hard as a Dreadnought by getting yourself nearly killed, but you still want to be tank-like in the way you do things. Excellent stuff. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up. New model feeling. Come on, open. Damn. Even the plastic is tanky. Snip. Aha. Thwarted with my anti-tank snippers. Stop being so difficult. There. Peel. Peel. Lose its peel. Very appealing. I'll stop now. Right then, my friend. Ah, let's get you out of here. Nah. Swoop. There we go. All right. Instructions. Uh, three bases. Yep, that's three bases, good. Damn, there's a whole lot of boys. Actually, it's only two sets of sprues, really, but it's lots of smaller parts. Right then, let's have a quick look and see if there is any uh, variation in this. Ah, so we do have different weapons, I see. Hey there, dual link flamers by the look of it, or dual links, whatever they are. Right, cool, I will see about trying to magnetize this if possible. But we shall see how possible that is. Alright, so I've decided I do want to magnetize this unit. It looks like it could be quite complicated. But I'm going to give it a damn good go anyway. Alright then, let us begin the snip. Snip must time. Yep. Damn, looking a bit floundering, isn't he? You know, this guy reminds me of a joke. What do you call a man with no arms and no legs floating in a river? Bob. There we go. Nice, nice. Then we get number two. I know that technically this isn't the helmet that goes with the, the flamer option for when I make the modular, but I prefer the helmets. Easier to do. Snip. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Damn. I keep dropping him. Why do I keep dropping him? Ugh. There we go. So it will fit in something like... Something like... Hang on. Something like that. Alright. Took a few tries. But we good. We good. There we go. That looks good. Alright, cool. And it's bust out number four. There it is. I lost it from it. It was right in front of me. Sniptus. Eucasniptus. Or something. Sand, 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 sand. Sand, 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 sand. Looks rather devoid of mold lines, which is nice. And he still has a butt flap. Nice. Okay, cool. And if we just give that the old sloop de whoop. Whoopity sloop. Nice. And stick. Excellent. Nice. Next, we get out five and six. Here we go. Snip. Directly connected to the words. Snip. What I was trying to say was directly connected to the belt. But it just kind of deactivated in my brain as I was speaking the words. Oh uh, dear me. And snip. Nice. Sand, sand, sand. Big on mold lines. Hated foe. Enemies of the Imperium. Mold lines. There we go. That should do, I think. Nice. Right then, there's a stompy, stompy feet. Now let's get them attached to his body. How do I do it? Ah, I see. I was only confused for a moment. There we are. Nice. Get you in there. Work, damn it. There we are, I think. There we are. There we go. Nice. He's walking. All right, now he's got a fancy belt thing somewhere. There it is, right in the corner. Get up, you. Snip and snip. There we go, cool, cool. Now, whereabouts does this sit? Literally right there? Yeah, literally right there. Nice. Fill it in. Lovely. And then stick. Perfect. Cool. Very cool. Right, let's get off this chunky, chunky backpack. Snips. Snips. Snippetus. There we are. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Right, this is where things are going to start getting complicated. And the complication begins, snip, with these two pieces right here. Snip. Snip that up. And stick that down. Stick. Stick, stick, stick. Okay, cool. So this would go here, like so. Now, in order for my plan to work, I need to one, not drop it, and two, I need to magnetize this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mark a pilot hole and attempt to drill straight in, leaving this guide thing on, and the same here, mark in the middle, drill straight through. That way I can still hopefully use this to keep it thus. But at the same time, as a part of me is wondering, what if I don't magnetize it and it can just pop on and off like that? Because you can see here in the instructions how it is directly attached to the gauntlets. And yet the flamethrower one has a different thing attached there. Alright, I guess I don't need to magnetize it. Alright, that's... Well, that's what I'm going to go for. Cool. Snip. Hopefully this decision is fortuitous. 
Snip, schlock, schlock, glue pot. Nye, 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 nye. Excellent. And stick. And that side doesn't stick in as cooperatively, I must say. Let's do it. The guns themselves should hold it in. Right, let's just quickly cut off his arm, which is over here. Snipsy. I'll do that one then. Fine. Snip. Yeah. Are these guys rocking power fists or are these just big hands? And sand, sand. Right, so this looks about right, but I'm not super sure yet, so I'm going to wait until the other bits are there to sort of get a measure of it, you know? In this case, 11, 12, and 13. Snip, snip, and snip. Get out of it. Yeah. And we'll give that a snip. And snip you over here, I think. Snip. Oh, over there, nearly forgot. Snip. Nice. Sand, 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 sand. Sand. Oh, yeah, there's a thumb. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Very good, very nice. There we go, nice. So for reference, that will be uh, the other way around. It'll be like this, okay. I do intend to magnetize. You know what? There's a big gap in there. I'm hopeful. Maybe I don't have to drill anything. Just two magnets in there. That'll be cool. I certainly hope so. Let's nice. try that out shortly. First, how do you two connect? Ah, I see. You connect right there. Excellent. Right where all the rough stuff is. Great design, GW. Right, 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 right there. Right. The alignment will be complete. No, it won't. A little bit there, there we go. Uh, it looks about right. Okay, so the big running theory is that this bad boy slots thus. And uh, where's this thing slot? Where do this go? Hang a boot. Not this whole bit of sprue. Doesn't need to be there. Snip. There we are. Now it should cooperate. Okay, so this puppy would slide in here. Oh damn, there's a whole bit I didn't cut off there. There we go. So that should just slot in there like that. Yeah, I see it. Okay, here we go. Nice. Now the only thing left to truly secure is this bit down here which is not really cooperating. It just occurred to me my new plan I can just uh, glue this backpack straight on I think it'll make my life a bit easier when trying to line everything up and go and stick. Beautiful. So now looking at how this rests that will mean the arm will be... Oh, where's that point? Like there. Okay cool. Right. Time to commit. There we are. So I wonder how well this will cling to it without any magnetizing. Not bad, obviously very loose. If I were to shake it, it will come off. Lines up decently on the backpack. So yeah, I think all I need is a good magnet there, and then we're sorted. Nice. We are going to try that right now. I've got my drills out just in case, but the big hope is that I won't need them. Because I'm hoping there is enough space in there for it to just be glued in. Okay, so I've got two magnets right here. I'm actually just going to pop them in there, roughly how they will be. There we go. And then just see if it will still connect, if there is room. There is. Quite a bit, in fact. Maybe it isn't drilling in this needle, but maybe I need to actually add a little height. At the same time, do I need to? Are these magnets strong enough for them to pull it towards each other without them actually touching? The eternal dilemmas. Well, first. There we go, that's a blob of the stuff. There we go. Alright, I've popped a magnet in there, and then we shall see how well that goes. Alright, so. Now I know that this magnet that's facing you has to join the side that's facing you also, so. Oof. Yeah, I should probably need to go towards the back. That's cool. Now I'll let that dry, and then we shall see how it all fares. Alright then, I think that these magnets are set. So, let's see if they clip or not. Ah, dang it, the glue wasn't quite set. They fought. There we are. Okay, so that one there seems set at least. Good. I've had an idea. Right, I've got another magnet here. Attach it on there. Now I'm wondering, would a stack of three be the right size? Let's find out. Hmm, definitely was fighting to get on more, so I think it might well be a much more snug fit. Okay, let's so apply some glue to the top of this magnet and some in here. All right then, now I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and then we shall see if the magnet has stuck to the top. Ah, yeah, it's looking really, really good. More or less connects pretty well in the back. Ah, it's a good solid connection. It's uh, solid as well. Good shake, nothing happens. Clips on easily. Nice. Yeah, indeed, the fact that this bit a little looser at the back than I would like. There you go, you see that ping out there. Oh well. Small sacrifice, small sacrifice. I guess now I may as well do the other arm. Let's get rolling. Right, so we're looking for number nine. Somewhere in here. Not this one. There's nine. Snipsy, Dipsy, Lala and Poe. 
Right, sand, 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 Nice. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about the mold lines on here because it's going to be covered by a pauldron. Cursed mold line removal. Here we go. Right, gun number 15. There it is. Where the heck did I put me snippers? Oh, here they are. They were literally on my lap. Snip, snip. Hello, Merlin. Snip. There we go. Oi. Don't you be hunting my stuff. Oh, going for my sandpaper again, are you? Ah, oi. There you go for my finger. There you go. Very nice. Very cool. Not too worried about that. On the very end, so I'm going to drill in there eventually. Nice. Now, thankfully, this ammo belt is one solid piece, so I'd have to glue it together like the other one, because that that wasn't fun. I'd rather fight off a whole Tyranid horde than deal with that again. Okay, that's nonsense. I'd definitely rather do that again than face off with the Tyranid horde. Whoop. Nah, I'm just saying silly things. Sun, 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 sun. A weird cough from the cat. Very nice. Cool. So, I guess it goes in like that. Yeah, it looks about right. Nice. That's, uh, oh yeah, it's smoother than it looks. Good. Dush, dush, dush. Here we go. Very good. Right, so we'll leave this aside for now while we work on magnetizing this. That would be like such. Yes. Excellent. Let's have another quick look at this just to remind ourselves. I right, more or less smack in the middle. Alright, cool. Let's see if this is formed in a similar way. It appears to be. That's good. Right, so I've got three magnets here, much like in the other one. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it'll be something like, yeah, like that. I won't glue it yet though. But that's my expectation. Hey, whoa! I just took off one of the two magnets. And let's try and get this as central as we can, shall we? There we are. Nice and central. Love it. Right, we'll let that glue settle, and in the meantime, we shall work on the other one for here. And thankfully, I don't have to use these magnets to remind myself, I can just use this one. There we go. Do that on there, in fact. The way I did it on this one was sort of twisted towards the thumb, They're pointing towards the thumb, so I'll do similar again here, because that did work quite well. Dot of glue, dot, there we go. That way around. There we go. It's actually a bit more level now, which is good. I'm gonna just stick a bit more glue underneath it. There we go. Right, well, that's it too. Cool. And you know what? While we're waiting for all of that to dry, I'll stick it over there. We may as well bust out the flamethrower stuff and get him kitted out for that. All right, stepping him back a bit. Now, 29 and 30. Snip. So, nip. 29, 30's over here. Yep, there's 30. Snip. There we go. And, 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 and. Sand, 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 sand. Nice. Sand, 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 sand. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Yep. There we go. Nice. Okay. Blush, blush, blush. Split. And stick. Nice. Very good. So that would stick on this side. Cool. I pop that there. Get 24. And snip. And 25. Snip. Excellent. Sand, sand. Sand, 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 sand. Scrape, scrape. Well, oh, you can hear the rain outside. Making things wet. And not in a good way. Scrape. Nice. Very nice. Alright then. We need flamethrower 22 first. Oop. There we go. Scrape. 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 Pretty really good. Scrape. 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 Alright, cool. There we go. Alright, cool. It's, it's, there's the magnet. As usual. Pop it on there just to make sure it's the right way. And of course, how well does this actually fit onto here? Perfectly. Excellent. Good, good, good. So I've not got anything wrong. There we go, plenty of glue. Plenty of glue, which will suit it too. Now, let's magnet as such. Slide you in. There we go, nice. A little bit of glue's gone on top of it, but I'm sure that won't be a problem. All right, cool. We will let that sit for a bit too. In the meantime, I will get out number 23. That's it, there we go. This will be the connecting pipe, or hose, or cord, whatever you want to call it. Snip. And slice, there we go. Nice, nice. This looks a bit weirdly bent. You've got the odd discoloration there. Hmm. Oh well, hopefully it doesn't cause an issue. Right, how do we... Ah, oh, you can actually see a bit of a pattern in there, so... Ah! Ugh! Ugh! Yes, there it is. And these wires do cross a bit oddly. Regardless, I shall give it a quick blob. There we are. I think that's right. Doesn't seem right at all, to be honest. He meets up there, though. Yeah, something doesn't seem right. I don't know what it is, though. Let me see if I can't figure it out. Have I used the wrong one here? I have used the wrong one here. <laughs> it's meant to go on. I'm throwing everything. Hang on, hang about. I'm really confused. Okay. So then it would be like this. It just doesn't... 
I'm confused. It does seem to fit better already. Okay. I'm so puzzled. I think I'm doing anything wrong. There we go. Okay, I think this is actually right. Okay. Okay, cool. I'll let that sit for a little while. Think about everything it's doing. You're probably not strong enough yet, are you? Right, you know what? We're gonna do a bit of... in order to just get this dried quicker. Hey, it's Future Ross here. For some reason, my microphone cut out for this short and the following short. I really need to see about sorting that. But anyways, in this one, you can see I'm trying to sort the hose for the flamethrower. It was really fiddly, really finickety, really made me want to tear my eyes out, but it eventually did get good and done. And then after that, I moved on to checking the magnet for the uh, other bolter, which had attached very nicely inside the gauntlet. And then I got to sticking the ammo belt into the gauntlet, so then it would sit nicely going into his backpack. It's all looking good. Having seen that the second bolter and the first flamer attached really nicely, I got on with making the fourth and final weapon, which was the second flamer. So I cut out all the pieces, as you'd expect, I sanded them down, I trimmed off any mold lines I could find, and then I started putting in the magnets, which, again, about as fun as you can imagine. A good step, it's very worthwhile doing, I do recommend it, but still quite an endeavour. And then it all attached very, very nicely. I checked the back, everything was looking all great and dandy. And yes, indeed, now it's onwards to the next step.